Okay, let's do this. Don't judge a book by its cover is a beautiful, powerful sentiment that I fully ignore when book shopping. It applies to everything except books. Yeah. Oh, the vibe to live in a giant tree stump house. I got no good tags for the post. Just, yeah. Hey, bestie, come closer. I'm totally not gonna drag you into my obscure interest, bestie. I promise. The cask of a Monty Blorbo. Imagine someone thinking of you and buying you flowers. Okay, now imagine a horse as a skeleton with the blue fire mane. That sounds cool. Open world Tetris. That's just putting away the groceries. If you think I'm gonna sit and watch a six to seven hour movie just because it's an exact replica of one of my favorite books with every single word and detail included, then you are absolutely right. Let me just make some popcorn and get some drinks. We're gonna be here a while, folks. Your Honor, in my defense, who cares? Like, OMFG, who cares? Like, come on. Just come on. Today I learned that the King of Prussia had a personal army of 3,000 tall men and admitted, The most beautiful girl or woman in the world would be a matter of indifference to me. But tall soldiers, they are my weakness. <sighs> that feel and short soldier. Mm. Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, but McGeans. We respect short kings around here. You good. Hey, you think you're a better kisser than me? You think you're a better cuddler? Then come over here and prove it, Andy. I mean, bunk. I'm gonna deck your halls, bub. There needs to be an easier way to convey the idea of it's absolutely fine that you don't like this thing I like, and I don't even necessarily disagree with your reasons for disliking it, but I am sick to death of hearing your negative opinions about it. Seriously, we need a word for this. We don't have to make one up. Smorbo. Smorbo. Old movies are just gifts that people played music over to make it look. <laughs> Why is this true? <laughs> nah, man, I can't come over tomorrow. I'm gonna listen to songs and think about characters. Y yeah, no, it's gonna be all day. Yeah. A midsummer night's dream, but Oberyn keeps Puck on one of those kitty backpack leashes. All right, stop. This is the best thing ever. I need to see it. I was cleaning my house this afternoon. How nostalgic it is to remember the past years, forgotten ambitions, broken dreams, ancient treasures, and the constant reminder that we are now... Adults. Fuck. I'm not sure why, but the words Blessed Be Snom came to my mind and I thought I would share it. Hell yeah. Also, whoever submitted this, I like your gradients, G. You know, thinking about it, I'm pretty sure my ancestors would be horrified with me. Not because I'm lazy or unworthy or anything like that. But because one of my distant uncles was among the eight survivors of the Essex, the ship that inspired the ending of Moby Dick, and sank after being rammed by a whale. And what do I fucking do after my bloodline has this ordeal at sea? I get a fucking degree in marine science and go back the fuck out there. OP, it's your job to kill that whale. There are many benefits to being a marine biologist. I respect that fantasy as a genre has simply refused to standardize the spelling of fairy. Fairy, fay, fi, fair, folk, fairy. Just an F followed by whatever vowels you have in your heart. Furries. Which really just sounds like the Boston way of saying fairies. Hey, don't go in that forest out there. You'll see a bunch of fairies. <laughs> March! Again!